Facebook meeting is underway in Stewart to discuss Lake Okeechobee discharges that's causing this algae along the Treasure Coast waters. Good afternoon, I'm Mark Kelly. Thank you for joining us at noon. We have just learned as well that the Army Corps of Engineers will be stopping those discharges for nine days. Also, someone dyed the fountain in downtown Stewart green, reportedly in protest of this toxic green algae. Angela Rozier at City Hall, where officials right now are discussing discharges and also plans for restoration. Angela. Friends of the Rivers Coalition hosting today's meeting here at City Hall in Stewart. That meeting starting at around 11 o'clock this morning. Now the meeting will focus on Lake Okeechobee discharges and the plans for restoration projects. Now this morning, speaker is Lieutenant Colonel Jennifer Reynolds. She's the Army Corps of Engineers Deputy District Commander for South Florida. Now Treasure Coast residents have been vocal against Lake Okeechobee discharges and they're concerned about the blue-green algae that's once again in local waterways. Now the meeting will give the public the opportunity to voice their concerns and get more information about potential solutions. The meeting taking place right now is just one opportunity today to speak with representatives from the Army Corps of Engineers about the toxic blue green algae. Now, the Army Corps of Engineers is also hosting a meeting later this evening to seek input on a proposal to create a reservoir to cut Lake Okeechobee discharges. That meeting will take place later tonight. It will start at six o'clock at the Blake library here in Stewart. Reporting Angela Rozier, WPBF 25 News.